you are going to see a dual LD3 container loading and unloading operation. The first thing to do is to lower the manual door sill latches to power the system and to prevent inadvertent cargo door operation. Before loading the cargo units, the cargo compartment has to be prepared. Then raise both retractable XY guides. All other latches must be clear out of the way. Open the control panel access door and set the power switch to on. Move the container onto the ball mat area. On the door sill, the overridable door sill latches are overridden. Move the joystick to the in position. The lateral power drive units run. On the aircraft center line, the overridable XY guide is overridden. Release the joystick. It returns to the neutral position, then select the split function by pressing the joystick down. Both containers are separated. The retractable XY guide rises. Then set the Y guide switch to the forward position and at the same time move the joystick to the forward position. Hold the Y guide switch in the forward position until the container is clear of the Y guides. When the container is clear of the Y guides, the Y guides rise automatically due to spring action. The container is guided by the side guides and the overridable YZ latches. When the container is in position, release the joystick and manually lock the container by raising the container latches. For loading the ball mat area, the containers must be loaded one at a time. Only a lateral movement is needed. When the container is in position, secure it by raising the container latches. Place the last container in the cargo compartment. When the last container is in position, secure it by raising the manual door sill latches. Lastly, set the power switch to off and close the access door. Unlock the first container by lowering the manual door sill latches. Open the control panel access door and set the power switch to on. Move the sill lock handle down and set the joystick to the out position. The overridable door sill latches lower. The container leaves the cargo compartment. When the container is clear of the door sill, the sill lock handle automatically returns to the up position. Unlock the second container by lowering the container latches. Select out with the joystick. The container starts its lateral movement. Don't forget to move the sill lock handle down to lower the overridable door sill latches. The container leaves the cargo compartment. Once the ball mat is clear of the containers, the overridable XY guide has to be lowered before unloading the remaining positions. Manually unlock the next container to be unloaded. 
Select aft with the joystick. The longitudinal movement starts. For the unloading operation, the electrical Y guides are overridable and lower when the container is moved. When the container is clear of the electrical Y guides, the electrical Y guides rise due to spring load. Move the sill lock handle down. The overridable door sill latches are lowered. Set the joystick to the out position. The lateral movement starts. When the operation is finished, set the manual door sill latches to up. The last thing to do is to switch off the system and close the access door.